It was the winter of 1970. Four young men working for General Electric in Worthington, Ohio, began to dream about starting their own super abrasive company. And while their dream was very real, not much else was. With no financing and no experience running their own business, they left good paying jobs, put up $20,000 of their own money, and started what would become abrasive technology in a tiny four room workspace. Ingenuity was at the heart of the new venture, and AT obtained two U.S. patents for their PBS brazing technology, one for the product and one for the process. In July of 1971, with a 24-shape dental burr product line in hand, they hit the streets of Columbus to cold call on as many dentists as possible. By the end of the day, the cases were empty and their pockets were lined with $356. For the next six months, they crisscrossed the state, selling by day and manufacturing by night, with their wives helping to package and ship product, answer the phones, and send invoices. In 1972, with distribution secured and recognition growing, a competitor claimed trademark infringement of a single color-coded groove on the dental tool shank. With no money to spend on a legal fight, the partners decided the simplest solution was to put a second groove in the shank. Thus, the iconic two-striper was born. By 1974, growing quickly and entering the industrial marketplace, AT moved into a 40,000-square-foot building in Worthington, Ohio. Eleven years later, the company designed and built the 60,000-square-foot facility in Lewis Center, Ohio, which was later expanded to 100,000 square feet and included the latest R&D, machining, quality control, and computer technologies. By the late 1970s, abrasive technology was distributing across the globe, as well as acquiring companies like Crystallite and Diabrasives. Over the next 20 years, 12 additional companies were acquired, adding new markets, new technologies, and a lot of new people. In 1992, Butch Peterman became the sole owner of Abrasive Technology. He held a core belief that employees wanted to make a difference, be trusted, and feel they made a contribution. Under Butch's direction, the focus shifted to building an organization where everyone could contribute, learn, and grow. The company continued moving the industry forward, launching AbrasiveTech.com, the first website for a super abrasives company. They revolutionized the manufacturing of chips for the electronics industry, and their PBS products became a leader in the medical industry. And in 2008, AT patented the V-Flex process, the most significant change to the manufacturing of resin bond wheels in decades. At the company's 40th anniversary celebration in 2011, Butch Peterman announced that his son Daryl had become a shareholder of the company ensuring abrasive technology would be a family-owned business for years to come. What began more than 40 years ago with nothing but four men in a dream has expanded to multiple facilities and sales offices around the world. What hasn't changed in all that time is their continued dedication to their products, their process, and most importantly, their people.